Hi everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. Today uh, we're going to talk about levelling a twin axle caravan. Now as many of you who follow our channel know we've recently changed our caravan from a sing single axle to a twin axle and there were two major issues uh, or concerns that I had. Uh, one which I said in a previous video was about towing, uh, having never towed a a twin axle caravan um, and just on that note alone as we said in the previous video uh, towing is a dream it's so simple it's so straightforward you don't even know it's there it's 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 actually in my opinion easier to tow a twin axle than a single so that fear um, that's now gone the second issue that we have was leveling now um, if you're new to caravanning or just starting out in caravanning um, when you arrive on pitch, you have to level the caravan. Now that's done for a number of reasons. A, you don't want to roll out of bed in the middle of the night. Um, and B, things like the fridge, it has to be level. Um, and also if you put a glass of water down, you don't want that rolling all over the place. So you have to level the caravan when you arrive on pitch. Now, some pitches are absolutely dead straight, which is fantastic, but you can get a little leveler, which is like a triangle, um, and you've got a level for front and back and you've got a level from side to side. Now leveling it from back to front, that's really, really straightforward. You just use the jockey wheel, raise it up or lower it down. It's entirely up to you. Very, very easy to do and it takes seconds just to wind it up or lower it down. Going from side to side is a different story. Um, on single axle caravans, you use something like this, which is a leveling ramp. Uh, this is sort of the industry normal, if I'm honest. Um, when you buy these, you buy them in a pair. I don't quite understand why, because you only want to use one because you're going to level the caravan one side. You're not going to level it both sides, but they, you get them in a pair. Now, this is one from our previous caravan, which um, I'm not going to use uh, to level this, and I'll explain why in a second. As I see it, there are two ways to level a twin axle. Well, there's actually three, if I'm honest. One way um, is by using self, automatic self-leveling. Um, you have them bolted on and it levels it automatically. Cost is about just north of 2,000 pounds and it does add a lot of weight, so I'd rather have that money in the bank. Um, the other way is using um, a ramp system. And what you have to do is, uh, you have to put a ramp in front of these wheels. Uh, so if you're going to level it, you put a ramp in front of these wheels, you roll the caravan up um, over the first ramp and then down again. So I found um, rather than using, so rather than using this type, which is a bit harsh because um, you know, you drive the caravan up and then you've got to drop it down again. I've actually found this type, which is now this is a um, levelling ramp which has got a nice little dip down it. So you'll drive the caravan up on it uh, using the motor mover, which we'll demonstrate, and then it just rolls down again. So just a bit of housekeeping before we start. Um, both the products we show you, we've actually purchased. They haven't been given to us or lent to us or uh, sent to us for review. Um, we are not associated, we're not reviewing the products and we're not associated with the companies uh, that supply them. Um, we're just showing you uh, the two ways to level a caravan. Right, so we've got the ramp. We've just got one ramp that's in front of the leading wheel here. The idea is we're going to roll it up and I'm actually going to stop it when it gets to the very top um, because I just want to explain something once we get there. So using the motor mover, I'm just going to roll it forward. The handbrake is off, so we're just going to roll it forward, up the ramp and stop when we get to the top. So I'm just going to stop it there. Now, um, the idea is that we're now going to go all the way over and down again. So this level then matches up with here. Okay, so we're just going to go forward and drop it down nice and slowly. Sure that's in line with that which it is okay so before we carry on i just need to get the other ramp which we're now going to put in as this ramp is now just on this wheel i'm going to put the other ramp up there okay so we'll use the other ramp which we're going to just pop over in front of this wheel again the leading wheel and hopefully they should both both wheels should raise up at the same
and that's it now raised up. As you can see, the caravan, both wheels are the same height. And that's how you level a twin axle. I mean, obviously, um, we're on level ground here, so the caravan is actually now at an angle. Uh, but you would use your measure and then go either back a little bit if you want it not too high, or go forward, whichever. So that's how you level a twin axle caravan using the leveling ramps. To get him off, just carry on, either reverse the way you've done, or in this case, I'll just go forward. So we'll go down on both. So that's that one out of the way. And then we'll just go up and over on this one. And that's that one out of the way. So that's how you level using leveling ramps. Really straightforward, really simple. Um, the leveling ramps I'm using, we'll put a link in the description. These are, uh, I think these are about 17 pounds. Um, they're great because as I said, you can uh, just drive the wheel over there, but they're also not too big. These will raise to about four inches. I believe, uh, and they will take up to two tons. Now the caravan, our caravan weighs one point, just under 1.9 tons, but bear in mind that you're only lifting one side of the caravan. Um, so you're actually only using um, a half of just under two tons. So you're using 900, uh, you're only lifting up, you know, 900 kilograms. So it's well within its limit. So that's the leveling ramps. Now these, um, these weigh 998 grams, so under a kilogram. So 998 kilo, uh, grams. Now the second option you have, which is um, a preferred option by a lot of people, and that's the lock and level. Now everything you see on this table is what we're gonna be using with the exception of my glasses. So with the lock and level, first of all, to be totally, totally up front with it, they're very heavy. The weight of the lock and level is seven kilograms, so it is considerably heavier. Um, it is made of nylon reinforced polypropylene, so it is re really sturdy. Having said that, if you do buy one of these, they are priced at around 200 pounds. So, uh, if you go to Lock and Level Direct, you will get them for £199 and they'll deliver it within two working days. Uh, other sites, they're £230, £240, but Lock and Level Direct are uh, £199. You will need a car uh, pump, tyre pump. Um, also, from where we are at the moment, we're in the storage yard, um, which is quite similar to some of the um, hard standing pitches that you will, may be on, but I wouldn't feel comfortable lifting the caravan on top of this, putting this directly on here, because some of these stones could be quite sharp. And I really don't know what would happen if you punctured it, apart from maybe you've wasted your money. I don't know if you can repair it or if they guarantee it. So what I'm gonna be using, so means taking away a piece of board, say this size. So what I'm gonna be doing is putting a piece of board down and then putting the lock and level on top of it. It's just gonna save any of the stones piercing the lock and level. Right, so moving on, let's show you how you use the lock and level. So first of all, what you have to do is we'll go open it up. Put it around the right way. So we'll go forward. So the first thing you need to do is work out, sorry about this, you've got a line here, so first of all you've got two yellow painted lines, so the wheels have really got to be in the middle of these lines, and then you've got two lines here, so these two lines you have to line up with the last wheel, so you put it say there, all right, um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to move the, assuming this is where we wanted the caravan pitched, we're now going to move the caravan back. So this wheel is back here. We're going to put the piece of wood um, 
here and then put this on the piece of wood in the same position just so it's in front of the two wheels. Right, so I'm just going to move the, get the motor mover again. In fact, what I'll do is I'll move the caravan forward, it's probably easier. Okay, so that's now clear of the wheels. So as I say, because there's some sharp stones here, I want to try and protect the lock and level. I'm just gonna put that down there. Put the lock and level on front of it. Hopefully, it should. So we're looking at keeping the wheels in the center here. Hopefully that will work. So we're just going to move the caravan back onto the lock and level. And get it to about there. I'll just run it forward just a little bit so it's on the wood. Okay, so that's it now lined up. Right, you've got two valves here. So you've got a bag here and a bag here. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna turn off this bag and we're gonna inflate this side only. It will make sense in one second. So using any normal car pump, uh, you inflate it up to 30. 30 degrees, uh, 30 degrees, 30 PSI. So we'll just pump that up. Now, it's going to take about, I think the manufacturers say it takes five minutes to pump it up. So we're just gonna pump it up, let it run. This side is what's gonna be pumping up, only this side. Right, so I've stopped it now. That's been about three minutes just pumping just this side up. Now, you can't see, but this wheel is just slightly off the ground. Now, the beauty of the lock and level system is if you look at our, in front of this wheel here, you'll see the motor mover, and we've got the identical one on this behind wheel as well. Now, the problem with having the motor movers there is they're fantastic, but the downside is you cannot get to a jacking point. So you cannot jack the caravan up um, unless you've got a trolley jack. So one of the beauties of the lock and level is you can just pump up one side. So I've just pumped up the back one. So this one, I mean, I'm not gonna show you it moving because the motor mover is on, but this wheel you could now change um, because this wheel is actually up in the air. I could go higher, but I'm not going to, it takes too long. So uh, that is one of the positives on lock and level as opposed to the ramp, because the ramp system, um, you can't just lift one side and it wouldn't be sufficient clearance to get this wheel. Um, so for example, if you're using the Alco system, you could line um, the wheels up so you can get this one on first and then you could um, just turn this around so you can get your Alco chassis wheel lock in there. Uh, the downside of that is if you're in storage, um, obviously once you've got your Alco locks on, you then let the system down and basically the lock and level is going to stay, sit there under the caravan until you next come out. Right, so moving forward, um, what I'm going to do now is just going to open this valve here. Ooh, I'll stay in my hands. Open this valve here and what that does is that's going to put air into both of these now. Brings them both to the same height, so I'm now going to carry on pumping them up and they pump up to about 30 PSI. Okay, so it's been pumping air in for the last seven minutes now. Uh, I mean, obviously, depending on what type of uh, pump you use, um, we've just got a little portable one here. It's taken seven minutes to get to that stage. And as you can see, it is raised off the ground about six inches. If you've gone too much, you can just open this valve here uh, and it will let air out or just pump in more air. The most you can put in here is 30 PSI. Uh, obviously remember to close this valve here um, when you're starting because otherwise you'll be putting air in and it will just come straight out. 
Now, to let it down, all you've got to do, obviously, once you've got to this height, you just put your steadies down and then you enjoy your holiday. Um, now, to let it down, I'll just take the pump off of it first of all. Don't need that on it. And then all you do is you just twist this valve and that lets the air out. You do get some spare valves in case you undo it too much and it goes flying away. That lets the air out and the caravan goes down. And really, it's just the opposite to the way you put it on. Once it's, all the air is out of it, you just drive it backwards or forwards off of here and um, away you go. So, that's how you can level a twin axle caravan. Sorry, it's a bit windy. Hope you can hear me okay. Um, uh, it's entirely up to you how you do it. The levelling ramps, they're uh, just under £20. The lock and level is just around the £200. I know which way we will go. Um, probably after this I'm going to go on eBay. If anyone wants to buy lock and level, just drop us a line in the comments. And um, I, I just... Uh, the ramps just seem so much simpler. They're a lot quicker. Um, the ramp system, that wasn't time lapse. So what you saw actually happen, that was, just, um, what was it, less than a minute to put it on the ramps and then another minute to take it off. The lock and level, you're probably looking at about 10 minutes to take, put it on and blow it up and also then take it off. So as we said um, earlier on, we are not experts um, at all. We are just showing you um, how we do things. Um, it is a personal preference. You go with whatever way works for you. Um, I think on that note, we shall say goodbye. So on behalf of both Michelle, who's behind the camera, and myself, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.